Arc Welding, Stub Welding, a knowledge floater of the Gesellschaft für Schweißtechnik International, SFV Munich Branche, with videos, animation and audio text. For the lid in the two upper pictures, the handle is attached to the sheet using a slotted screw. For the lid in the lower pictures, no change can be seen on the rear side, as the stud weld is below the handle. Stud welding is understood as connecting pin-shaped components, so-called studs, with flat workpieces by means of arc pressure welding. This technique is very widely used. The stud face and the sheet are partially melted by means of an arc in a defined manner in less than one second. Afterwards, the weld pools of the stud and sheet are connected by moving the stud quickly towards the sheet and both components are welded to one another after a short cooling period. The clearly visible ceramic rings forms a combustion chamber for the arc and holds the weld pool together. Depending on the type of the arc ignition, the following welding techniques can be distinguished. Drawn arc stud welding and capacitor discharge stud welding. For each technique there are still several different versions. In both cases the welding techniques require direct current but have different sources of energy. High current rectifier power sources or inverters are used for drawn arc stud welding whereas capacitor discharge power sources are required for capacitor discharge stud welding. Here, the drawn arc welding process sequence is shown in individual steps. At first, in a diagram. For this technique, the stud and the ceramic ring are placed on the sheet using the welding gun in the event of manual operation and the stud is pressed on with spring force being applied. When the process is started, a pre-arc with low bias current, approximately 50 amperes, is ignited because the stud is drawn and lifted off the sheet. Thus, the name drawn arc welding. Then, the main current is switched on, which can be up to 2000 amperes depending on the respective stud diameter. After adequate partial melting, the stud is moved towards the sheet and the weld pools merge. The arc extinguishes and the melt solidifies. This is shown by the opposite animation. Adjustable welding parameters are the amperage, the welding time, the height of the lift, and the immersion depth. Here, drawn arc stud welding is shown as it is carried out in the laboratories of the GSI branches and universities. Often the student themselves make such a weld using a handheld device as shown in the pictures on the left hand side. The video shows the real welding procedure. In most cases, the ceramic ring, which can only be used once, bursts during welding or it is cut off. Now the way it works can be seen. It does not only concentrate the arc during the process, but also forms the welding bead when immersing the stud into the sheet. Afterwards, the participants themselves check the stability of the joint. The stud is bent. This weld withstands a higher load than the basic material, as it is required in most applications, preferably in civil engineering, mechanical engineering or power plant construction. A wide range of different fastening tasks with static or thermal load can be carried out throughout the entire metalworking industry using the universally applicable drawn arc stud welding process. On the basis of macro sections, the weld quality can be checked. A low error weld zone with a good weld penetration shape guarantees the high load carrying capacity of the welds. However, stud welding has proven itself many times, not only in mechanical engineering but also in bridge building engineering. Here, an example of a rebuilt listed pedestrian bridge is shown. The following video and the pictures show the welded stud on the three bridge girders. The formwork is installed. The reinforcement is inserted over the entry surface and around the stud. And connected with them. Then the concrete is poured. Afterwards the restored steel components are assembled.
In the field of building laws, such as bridge building engineering, the requirements according to the applicable DIN standards must be met. In this respect, the following principle applies. During testing, the fracture must take place in the stud or in the sheet, not on the welded joint. Here, bent angles of 60 degrees are achieved. During the tensile test, the stud bursts in the shaft. The requirements are met. Here, the welding process for the so-called capacitor discharge stud welding is shown. For the capacitor discharge stud welding technique, the arc is ignited by means of the partial melting and evaporation of the small ignition tip on the stud face. Thus, the capacitor discharge amperages of up to 10,000 amperes within a few milliseconds. The stud tip makes contact with the workpiece. The capacitor discharges in an arc whilst the stud is moved towards the sheet and the weld is already completed. A ceramic ring or even shielding gas, as it is necessary for drawn arc stud welding, are not required for capacitors discharge stud welding. Here the process is shown in a film. Once, manual welding using a stud welding gun in real time and then in slow motion. On the bottom left, an example of a completed stud weld is provided showing a M6 threaded stud made of S235, a conventional construction steel with a copper plated surface. Adjustable welding parameters for capacitor discharge stud welding are, for instance, the charging voltage and, depending on the device, also the capacitor capacity, the spring force, or the spring preload, as well as the gap. Example of studs are those with M3 to M8 threads, smooth studs with a diameter of 2 to 8 mm, studs with coarse threads with a diameter of 5 mm in most cases, and studs with internal threads. Thin insulation nails often consist of S235 material or stainless steel. For other stud applications, however, aluminium, brass, or copper materials are also used. The capacitor discharge stud welding technique is mainly applied in household appliance engineering and sheet metal engineering. In most cases, the rear side of the sheet of the stud weld is a visible face, designed free from tempering colors even for sheet thicknesses of less than 1 mm. Like the drawn arc stud welding technique, the capacitor discharge stud welding technique can be used both for manual operation and particularly well for fully automated operation in serious production with high quantities. The high welding quality with the fracture position outside the weld zone is achieved by means of special flange studs with a central ignition tip 